Hello everyone and good evening. As you can see, it is still a little bit of glare. That's because the sun hasn't quite brought the sun set yet. Now I have turned the fan on, hoping that uh, the game won't overheat or the Xbox won't overheat. But <laughs> it's actually been another hot day. As a matter of fact, it's going to be in the 80s all week. Uh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. But next week is supposed to be in the 60s and 70s. So it's supposed to cool down next week. Thank goodness. But luckily it hasn't been as bad today as it has been the last few days. Because I think it's because the like, humidity was low today. So it hasn't been as bad as it has been. So that's a good thing. Anyway, last time we were here, we went to the Citadel and we got a whole bunch of side missions in which we were able to do and, and then we had to come back to, um, and, uh, I believe that the next thing on our agenda is to go meet with the diplomats. I mean, got a bunch of uh, I got a bunch of stuff on here to go to different uh, system clusters to collect stuff, but that can wait till later. Right now, our only real objective is um, I mean, not later. Let's like wait to off camera. I can do that off camera. I don't have to do it with you guys because that's pretty boring to watch. Right now, we're gonna go to meet with the diplomats. So we have well, not, no other objective as. Oh, right now. Other than going around and collecting stuff. The diplomatic ships of the Slayers, Terrors, and Krogan float far away from one another out of weapons range. <laughs> Uh, messages sent by each faction indicate that they would welcome the Normandy as a neutral meeting ground for their diplomats. The fact that they have not agreed on a ship to serve as a neutral meeting point before now uh, does not bab bubble bode well for the negotiations. <laughs> the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. This Krogan is just a glorified thug. How can he speak for his people? By demanding Donatras Reeve has a point. Antagonizing him won't solve anything. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. That decision saved the galaxy. The Rachni were devouring everything in their path. And what the Rachni started, the Krogan tried to finish. We simply traded one enemy for another. I won't let history repeat. Curing the genophage will doom us all. 
Whether you like it or not, we need Krogan help to win this war. And what happens when the war is over? We'll find a new way to keep the peace. And they'll break it. Enough. This is all theoretical. It would take years to formulate a cure. There's no time. That's where you're wrong. There was a Solarian, Mela. He took some kind of twisted pity on our females and tested a cure on them. Now remember, his methods were barbaric. It gets worse. Some of the females survived. They escaped his lab before you got there, Shepard. Embarrassing for the Solarians. So the Dalatress ordered one of her goon squads to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. No more lies! Those females are immune to the genophage, and they belong to me! Delatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? What does it matter? Palavin is burning right now. Earth is burning right now. If it takes a cure to cement this alliance, then that's what I'm doing. He's right. The hard truth is we don't have a choice. Give Reed what he wants. Or none of us will survive long enough to know who was right or wrong. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Zirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this... Will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Now, normally when I uh, I did this in the past, I, I brought Garrus and Yara because uh, I always had Rex there. Just, uh, it's just it'd be like the old uh, old team again. And that uh, there was a, another reason to uh, bring these two. <laughs> uh, but I actually have not yet used Didi nor Javik. So, uh, I'm going to be using them for this mission. Normally, I would bring Garrison Yara for nostalgia reasons. But, they don't actually know Reeve. So, it wouldn't be nostalgic. We have unshackled AI. And of course, health and shields. I always go with health and shields. Tech damage. Oh, yeah, definitely tech damage. You're all about the tech. Uh, shield recharge speed, increase squad mates, tech power, damage, and duration. Perfect. Uh, Surge rate. That that overload and defense metrics. So the defense metrics is kind of like fortification or barrier or anything like that. I think it's defensive. Uh, 
radius so damage. They have to go with the damage overall. Alright, vengeful ancient. Power damage. Oh, it's good health. Good because power damage is all good now. We got power damage right there. Uh, but when oh, we got two squad bonuses. Increase squad's power damage and duration of, and force by ten percent. Increase stronger shield be top. Ooh, but that sounds good. But the increased squad makes a oh, shield be charged. So that it sounds even better. Um. But I always like to do the health because if you, it's all good and well if you have a whole bunch of power, but when your health is jacked to the squat, it doesn't help you at all. Part of me wishes that I have actually saved Rex rather than killing him, but oh well. Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalek has authorized this herself. Once an enemy, always an enemy. Permission denied. We're being waved off approach. Land anyway. You're too polite, Shepard. And that's why you want to bring Yara. <laughs> Where's the container shield? Because of the Yara. I believe Liara is well acquainted with their species. They were much smaller in my cycle. As you can see, the space contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? 
science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Seems like a good place to hide things you don't want the galaxy to know about. Like female Krogan. I'm aware of how this must look, but it was for their own good. They were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. We brought them here to stabilize their condition. Touch me and I'll rip your head off. <laughs> I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. <laughs> I actually kind of like Reeve a little bit. Touch me and I'll rip your head off. Uh, comic relief must be uh, one in the family. <laughs> Yep, and your big guys are in big trouble, especially if science is your only defense. <laughs> Please don't touch that. Don't tell me what to do. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. <laughs> Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. <laughs> I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? <laughs> Just ask Dee Dee. I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. I'm talking about Dee Dee from the cartoon Dexter's Lab. She couldn't help but touch everything in Dexter's Lab. <laughs> more, the Solarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine, if you are so enamored of that object that mm -hmm. I suggest you get your own feces analyzed. Oh, that's what it does. Okay, one more. We've already been down that way. No more. <laughs> Solarians seem so cool and collective, but you poke them in off and <laughs> you can irritate them. <laughs> Air defenses report 
report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. Looks like someone's testing our defenses. Appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. I find that analyzing topographical data of a location isn't the same as seeing it in person. Puts a new perspective on things, doesn't it? But there's also regret, knowing that as we speak, Reapers are destroying other worlds just as beautiful. Remember this. Soon your memory may be all that remains. I don't like what I hear. There was an outbound comm traffic 20 minutes ago from inside the base. And? A burst transmission fully encoded with no identity signature. No signature? That's against the protocol. I know. Someone's passing a message. I've got a bad feeling about this. Send confirmation to the Dalatrast that the exchange is proceeding. Yes, sir. And ask her for more warning the next time the Krogan leader shows up unannounced. Yes, sir. I wasn't serious. She'll maroon you on Tachanka with raw meat strapped to your back if you do that. Oh. Then she'll record the pressure mail speaking you as a warning to the nearest who challenges her. Wow. Uh, that's pretty bad. Kirahis. Commander Shepard, it's Major Kirahis. I'd heard you were coming. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. You saved my men that day. And another reason why you want to bring Garrus and Yara is because of Kirahis. Are the Solarians prepared for war with the Reapers? I've heard what they're doing to you, Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. Though rumors suggest you're building a super weapon of some kind. There were rumors I was dead, too. You can't believe everything you hear. Except you were dead. Was I? <laughs> the security seems high. Are you expecting trouble? Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. A good principle to live by. Who is this? He's a friend. A Prothean. Prothean? Of course. Amazing what they can do with genetic modification these days. Some new psychological tactic, Commander? Give the Reapers a good scare? What are you really? Drell? Turian? Prothean. Oh. I see. How did you get posted for this base, Major? I led the team on to chunk of the south of females. Nasty business. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. Test subjects were unaccounted for. The female beetles escaped his lab. What do you think about bringing the female Krogan here? Our scientists say it's important to preserve the females. Evolutionary paradigms. I say when people know you're hiding something valuable, they'll want to steal it. Either way, I have my orders. They'll be your problem soon enough. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Vermeer. Yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage here, yet now it's the key to an alliance. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within STG. I had no choice. Rex wouldn't see reason. Or he just had bad timing. Given the turn of events, maybe he didn't need to die. Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking her. You do that? Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. Good day. But the Yog specimen is giving us trouble. The Yog? I regret ever bringing them here for study. They say they're close to achieving space flight. That's why they're under consideration for upgrade. Clever species. Perhaps too clever. Krogan on an STG base. Never thought I'd see the day. I can't believe they brought the females here. I was on the team that got them off to Chanka. What was it like there? A wasteland. The Krogan are animals living in their own radioactive filth. The genophage didn't go far enough. 99% infertility is still 1% too many around. Yeah, that's a lot of 
have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready.